Are you guys tired of bringing your keys every time you leave the house? Well, there is a solution to that. Hi everyone, Gerald here and I'm back with another video and since a lot of my viewers are interested with the lock, I'm gonna install a new one and this time I'm gonna do it in my bedroom. I just purchased a Toya Smart door lock. This is relatively easier to install I guess. You guys will find out uh, later after this. So this is again a smart lock and inside the box let's see what we can find here we have an English manual so this is the outside handle the one with the fingerprint panel and the numpad inside handle spring box Inch plate buckle manual key I have two square bar e screwdriver I also have here the connecting pipe long to connecting pipe short a handle screw now let me assemble the lock um, I will start with the uh, spring box so I'm gonna insert this one in the hole and I'm gonna fix this with the screw this is the inside handle and before we're gonna connect the outside and the inside handle let's just uh, remove the battery cover first so that we can insert the wire so this screwdriver is included in the box Here it is. To attach the two handles, you need to put the square bar in the middle. So you have to insert the wire here. Like this one. Alright and you put the long screws here in order to connect the two handles all right now it's time to insert Then we're gonna put the screw to secure the handles. Next is to connect the battery compartment. So there is a slot here where you can connect the wire. So once it's secured, you can now put the battery for triple A battery. and put it in the battery compartment for putting the battery you just have to put it back in the handle then you secure it with a screw there's a screw here all 
All right, so now the handles are in place. Now I'm going to add the lock to the Toyo Smart Door application. So I already have the Smart Life here. And if you want, you can also use the Toyo Smart. It's just the, the same. So the only difference is that you can use the Smart Life app if you're gonna connect it to a third party like if this, then that, or IFTTT. Right, so I'm gonna open the Smart Life since I'm using this one for the smart devices in the house. I need to click the plus button then add the device i just go to camera and lock then i will be selecting the lock with BLE because this is a bluetooth version and then i just have to follow the steps here so the lock is already powered. All right. Then I'll just have to make sure that it is blinking. So in order to do that, I need to uh, reset the lock. So there's there's actually a small hole here at the at the back portion of the lock. Now it's blinking. It turned uh, blue, so I just hit next. Then uh, it is now starting to connect the device to my network. All right, so I can see now the high-end indoor intelligence lock system. So just have to uh, click add. Been added successfully. So let me just uh, check now. I have here the indoor lock. There are actually four ways of uh, unlocking this door. The first one is of course the manual key. You just have to insert this one uh, on the side. Uh, there's a slot here. Then just have to turn it to the right and you can open the door. Um, the second end is with the use of an app. Tap and hold to unlock like this one. Now it's unlocked. All right. The third one is with, the, of course, with the fingerprint. So to add a fingerprint, you just have to open the the app, the Smart Life app. Then you go to settings. Then you go to fingerprint management. Then you add the fingerprint. So I have to select user. Then we're gonna start capturing. You just have to press this one repeatedly, like five times until the fingerprint is captured then hit done then i already have the fingerprint here registered under my name i can also enter a passcode or add a passcode i'll be adding a passcode under my name i can generate a 10 digit password or i can actually type in like I'll just put a random number like 147258, then hit save. 147258, hash. Alright, so now it's open. And if you don't want to use those methods, you can actually set the door to free passage mode. Like, like for example, if you're just you know staying at home and you don't need to use the combination or any like method to open the door, you can just press the button. There's there's actually a button here inside. You just have to press it. Once you hear the beeping sound, right? So the door is actually on a free passage mode so you don't really have to enter the password the temporary one or maybe the fingerprint can actually enter your room without having to use any of those combinations
Alright, so if you guys are interested to buy this lock, I actually got this in a store um, in Shopee. Uh, I think I paid only like 1,000, like 1,800 pesos for this one. So if you guys have any questions or if you have any suggestion or if you want a device for me to make a setup tutorial or a review, please write it in the comment section below and I'll try to make one for you. That's all for now. Uh, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.